Topaz Labs 4OAI 3.2.0, three new sharpening models, and we're going to focus specifically on hair, whether it's an old picture, a new picture, or animal fur. Let's see what it does to clean things up. Let's go. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to browse to where my images are. And I'm going to grab this one of my mom and her pet crow from 75 years ago. It's going to analyze the image and give you recommendations on what you should do for this image, which is quite cool. That might cut down on some time. Right away, it says sharpen the subject, upscale, and then denoise. I kind of find it weird that it wants to sharpen first. If that's what the order it wants to put it in, to sharpen first. Aren't you sharpening noise that you want to get rid of to begin with? Hmm. Well, anyway. So the first enhancement I want to do is I want to denoise everything. And I'm going to put it in the middle. So I have an option of normal, strong, and extreme to denoise the whole thing. So let's zoom out here. And it's taken away a bit. But that's not the idea of what we're doing today. What I want to do is concentrate on my mom's hair here and sharpening it. So what we'll do is we'll go Add Enhancements, Sharpen. Now we'll go right to Edit, edit Selection and we'll go to Custom. Once, once we're in Custom, let's grab New Brush called Object Selection. Just gotta hover over where you want to do some work here and it'll choose what you want. And it's grabbed my mom's hair. But as you can tell, there's little fringes and stuff on the outside. It hasn't grabbed. So let's grab another new brush, Super Pixel. And I'm going to make the brush small. Because what it'll do is it'll grab those fringes for us. I'll probably make a video on all these brushes later. But this is the cool part. Just go around the outside. And you can see that it's grabbing the fringe hairs and everything that's on the outside. And you can tell by the feathering what it's grabbed. And it's grabbed all those little hairs. So let's go down here. There's a couple down here. Just go around the outside and see what it grabs. By the feathering you can see. Let's grab our regular brush and erase. We don't want some of this stuff. But other than that, it's looking pretty cool. Let's go back to the controls and let's choose Lens Blur V2. It's strength that it wants to put it at 79. Now, let's see what it's done. Here, I'll zoom in just a bit. And wow, is this powerful. Holy. Check it out. It's not necessarily a good thing. I like what it's done with all the little fringe hairs here. But then it starts to get pretty crispy everywhere here. But let's use our option and bring it down to 50. And it's just not happening. Nope, I'm not digging that at all. Okay. So let's go to refocus. It wants its strength at five. And it's done. And it doesn't seem to have done anything for mom's hair. So let's bring up the strength. Let's do the 25s. Let's bring it up to 25. And you know, it's done a bit. Not bad. Let's bring it up to 50. Okay. And it's, it's not bad, but it's still now it's starting to get a bit crispy up here. Not digging it. So let's go to natural, the other one here. Now it starts at five. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's got the back of there. Let's go to 25. Okay, so the back of the hair is cool, but it starts making it a bit crispy again here. So what a person should do in that case is... Take the part that you like the most. And I like the back of the hair with all the stuff. It brings it in focus pretty good here. So what I'll do is I'm going to edit the selection again. My regular brush. Erase. Well, I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger here. And I'm just going to erase just the part that I want erased. It's because you can do these in parts. And that's the cool thing. So mom's hair looks good there, as you can tell. It's nice. Let's do another enhancement, and we'll go to sharpen again. Because you can do these individually if you wish. That's the cool thing about having some options like this. So let's go to custom. I'll keep it on regular, and I'll paint in 
just what I want. So I'll go around. Now, what I'll do is I'll grab the super pixel and I'll even make it small this time. And just kind of go around the edge to see what it picks up as far as the smaller hairs and etc. Bring it back to regular and erase what we don't want. All right. We'll add a little bit right there. Now let's go back to controls and let's go back to lens blur V2. Except this time, instead of allowing it to crispy like that, I'm going down to one. And one, you know, pretty much doesn't do anything. So let's go up to about 15 or 16. And right away, it's not bad there, but it's really destroying the front. So I'm not digging that at all. So let's go to refocus. And it did a little bit, but not much. So let's go up to 20. And it's focusing in a little bit better. Let's go to 50. Ah, now it's starting to come in. But once again, it's a bit crispy. So I'm going down to about 35. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's zoom out. And now we have all of Mum's hair done. Using a combination of two of the new Sharper models, you can get the result you're looking for. Well, there's example one. Always having more options of to get to your end result is always a really cool thing. And I'm glad that you can stack the different sharpening on top of each other one at a time. Let's go with example number two. Now, example number two, we're going to browse to a picture of my dad. This picture was taken with an iPhone back in 2008. You can see it's a little bit noisy. It'll analyze the image and do its thing again. And once it's done, it'll tell you what it wants to do. Now, because it's that old, but kind of a modern picture, it wants to denoise. So let's denoise it. Let's put it in the middle and let's check it out. Check out, check out the wood back here in the wall and my dad. Wow, look at that. The denoise is amazing. I love the denoise in this program. But that's not what we're here for. I want to sharpen up my dad's hair so it looks a little bit better. Here, I'll zoom out. Is we'll go to Add Enhancements and Sharpen. And right away, like we did before, we'll go to Edit Selection and Custom. Let's see if the Object Selection brush will do the same thing. Now, that's pretty close. Now, but unfortunately, there's some stuff right along here that we have to grab a few extra hairs. So let's see what Poop Super Pixel does. And let's grab some hair here, a little bit there, and a little bit on the outside. Let's see what it grabs. Not bad, not good. So let's go to our regular brush, erase, make it a certain size, and just kind of erase it. Now, don't forget that we can change the feathering if we want. Put it back to 50, and it makes it a tighter mask. Let's put it back to, like, 14. Now it's a really strong, tight mask. We don't want that. I'm going to put it back up to, oh, let's go to 75 if we can here. 75. There, and it'll pick up the hair that I want it to pick up. Let's go to Controls, Lens Blur V2, and see what it does. And right away again, Lens Blur. It just makes things way too crispy, which could work out in a different picture, but not this one. Here, let's, uh, let's back it off to about 25 and see what it does. See, it's a little bit crispy along the edges. Not bad, though. Not bad. So let's try refocus. It wants to do it at a three. Okay, it's enhanced. And it did it just a bit. I'm going to bring it up to like 25. Let's see what it does. Hey, that's looking good. The side, hair on the side, this hair on the top, that's looking pretty good. Let's see if we can put it up to 50, if it exaggerates it or what it does. 50. 
Yeah, it's starting to get crispy again. So I'm going to back it off. I liked it at 25. Very cool. You can see before and after, especially on this side right there, it just kind of cleans it up and makes his hair nice. Now, let's try the last one, natural. It wants to start at a strength of three. You can see over here, it's a bit crispy. And a bit over here, so that gives me a warning sign right there. Yeah, it's a bit crispy on the top and everything. Just for argument's sake, let's put it up to 20 or 20, uh, 25. I like to do the 25s. 25. Yeah, it's mighty crispy, but what we could do, once again, you can use your options. I'm going to leave this one because I like what it's done here. Up on the top. So what we can do, let's go to Edit Selection, Custom. Now let's just erase what we don't want. So I'm thinking right about there and right about here. Let's go back to Controls. And now it's nice and even and crispy here that I like. So what we can do, let's add another sharpen. I'm going to choose Natural again. Let's make our selection. Let's paint. Let's just use a regular brush this time. Bring it up a bit. And I just want these sections here. There we go. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go to the natural. And it's at three. So that's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm going to go back to refocus for one second. See, I like what it's done up top with this one here. Now, that would be a good one thing if uh, anybody from Topaz is listening. I wish we could right-click on each layer and name them so we for don't forget what we're doing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the strength of refocus up to about 10 or so. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Two sharper layers, and I got Dad's hair looking great. I'm digging this kind of stuff. So in example number two there, with my dad's hair, we had to use two different models to get the result we wanted, which that's fine. And I love it that you can stack everything up, use your options of bringing it up and down, you know, to get the exact result you're looking for. It can't be perfect every time, no matter what uh, model you choose. I seriously doubt it's going to be perfect, but you can get it there. Let's try number three. Now, in example number three, I'm going to browse. And I'm going to grab a picture that, of this puppy that I took with a Canon camera a few years ago. And what I want to do is his fur. I want to see how well these new models do with fur. So it's going to analyze it once again and tell you, hey, maybe try this. Now, let's zoom out a bit. Now, I just want the puppy's face. I don't think I'm going to denoise this picture as it doesn't really look like it needs it at all. So I'm just going to grab the enhancements, go to sharpen, edit my selection, custom. Now, I'm not going to use the object selection because it'll select the whole puppy. So I'll grab my regular brush and we'll just make it a, we'll make it a size that we need. And we'll just go around the puppy's face and hair. Because that's all I'm concentrating on is the hair. Let's check out the... All right, let's check out the feathering. Looks like it's got it all. But what I don't want is I don't want it to sharpen the eyes or the nose or possibly the mouth. So let's go to erase. And let's just erase a bit of what we don't want and or fix it. The eyes. I don't want to sharpen them. I just want to talk about the hair. So let's go back and grab our super pixel. And this time I'm going to change it. Yeah, let's leave it on small brush. And let's just grab what it thinks is there for the small hairs. On the ear, bottom of the ear, 
tune. And you can tell it's grabbing all these loose hairs. Let's remove anything that we don't want. Sometimes it grabs a little much, but that's okay. All right, let's get rid of the top. All right, that's a fairly decent one. So let's go back to controls and we're doing lens blur too. And once again, it's super powerful. I'm gonna have to find a picture to use to make this so it makes it look normal because right away, strength at 96, it does a hell of a job, but it's really crispy. Hair does not look like that. But let's back it off to 50%. Let's see what it does. Well, that's better. The hair's not bad at 50% on Lens Blur V2. All right, let's go to refocus. It starts at 37, and it did a bit, but not a lot. So let's make it 50. Here, I'll type it in. Okay, it's getting better. It's getting better. As you can see, the fur around the eyes, the fur on the top of the head, everything's getting better. Let's go refocus 75 and see what it does. And it starts to get a bit crispy. So you know what we can do. We can do two layers if we want. But I like what it's doing here. It's really capturing it and making the hair stand out. Okay, so let's try natural. And they're starting at 37. And natural looks good for the puppy. Look at this. Change here. That's really good. Natural's really good there. I don't even want to touch that. That's really nice. I'm going to bring it up to 40 just for argument's sake. And that's wonderful. Natural kicks butt on this one. Animal fur it does a really good job. Check it out. Starts here, goes across the top, the other ear. It's not crispy, and it's just sharp how I want it to be. This is great. Well, on that puppy's fur, maybe it's all animal fur. I haven't checked it out yet. But natural really worked well of getting the edges, getting everything exactly how I like it. I was digging that. Let's do example number four. Bringing up example four. I've got a picture of this lady. It's a color picture, but it's from the 50s. Now it'll analyze the image once again. Check it out. It'll check, it checks out the metadata sometimes. And it gives you recommendations. I don't like those recommendations. So we'll go to add enhancements. Gotta denoise this first. It's noisy. I'll put it in the middle on strong. And Bam, check that out. That's one thing Topaz Labs has down, whether in Photo AI or Gigapixel, it is the best for removing noise from a picture. So let's zoom out a bit. Now, what we'll do, once again, let's check out, I mean, her hair is already not bad from a picture from that time. Let's go to Enhancements, Sharpen. We'll edit our selection. We'll go to custom. I'm going to try the object selection brush once again. Put it right in the middle of where I want. And bam, it chooses it all. That's brilliant. I love that. This is a great addition to the brushes. I'm not even going to mess with it. So let's go back to the controls. And let's do lens blur V2. This time, it says 31 it's going to start at. Here, let's zoom in just a bit. And that's not bad. It's not making anything overly crispy, maybe a touch. So I'm going to back it down to 25. And I like what it's doing here. I like the curls here. It's looking really nice. Now, just to show you what I mean when it gets crispy, I'm going to make this 100%. And it's just way too much. It looks almost cartoonish. 25 is brilliant. I love it. Okay, that's Lens Blur V2. Let's go to Refocus. It says it wants to start at a 16. Oh, I see some sort of thing going on here. 
maybe about on the hairline and the little ones you can see the little ones there all along that's pretty cool let's make it 25 and that's just a little too much it starts getting a little bit crispy right about here and up top okay so let's back it off let's back it off just to 20 and let's check it out Yeah, not bad not bad at all i like what it's done with the little hairs you can actually pick out the little hairs still a little bit crispy here but you can pick out the little hairs from a photograph from 60 years ago that's brilliant okay let's try natural and right away at 16 wow just zaps it right up almost looks cartoony here <laughs> So let's back it off to 10. And that's not bad. Still a little bit cartoony. So I think the lens blur backed off was the winner on this one. But it's amazing how these different models pick up different things. Once again, I'm going to boost this right up to 100. And you can see <laughs> everything starts turning a bit cartoony. But you back it off to 10 where it was. And I'm digging it. It's not bad at all. These three models are doing some really great stuff. I can't wait to try them out on different things like objects and things. Cool. So there we have it. In example number four, the different models did different things to that kind of hair from a picture from that time period. In the end, you know, all three of these new uh, sharpening models, we got your lens blur V2, your refocus, and your natural, all have strengths and weaknesses. I like to look at it as they're all strengths because you can use your options of backing things off to get just exactly the result you're looking for. I'd just like to remind you, if you're getting anything out of my tutorials, please like and subscribe. Thank you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm Don from 4911. See ya.